Coming right up on the USDS, uh, Nissan Rivalry's match between the uh, Boston Tiptons and New York Rivalry's uh, Nissan Ice Hockey have fun at watching. Good evening, my lovely ice hockey enthusiasts. It's hockey time and I hope you're in the mood for it because in today's game you will witnessing the first appearance of New York and Boston. In our second season of DCA Ice Hockey. And now I see that the players are coming on ice. So we are seconds away from puck drop. And now we are officially underway. May uh, the New York Waverleys in the um, white jerseys from left to right and the Boston Tiptons in the black jerseys from left to right. Now Fred Felix slides over to Mason Gray back. Gets it through to Felix. Felix is over the blue line right now. And uh, for successfully back for the puck and Estolakin gets zip checked from Max and the Tiptons are back in possession right now. Now Barbara Brownstein to Zach Martin. Zach Martin is over the blue line right now and I lost the puck against Felix. And now the Ravelys are back in possession. Felix! And uh, the Tiptons defenders were able to stop the shot from him. And now they lost the puck again, but they fought successfully back. Zach Martin to Bermaya Bennett. And Maya Bennett is the first one. They checked it. They just checked their abilities from Herschel Levitate, the goaltender between the pipes of the New York Waverleys, from the New York Waverleys. Di Moriarty to Felix and ooh, that that will be the first penalty in this game because of tripping. I definitely saw it. And it was Max. Let's review the footage. Yeah, and it is uh, definitely a tripping call. Easy decision, easy decision for the ref, if you ask me. And um, yeah, she got two minutes of thinking time in the box right now, and that means that the New York Waverleys have now a one minute advantage in their play. But first, the uh, Boston Tiptons has cleared down the ice. And the Waverleys is doing the same. The Tiptons are back in possession, but um, they have cleared down the ice again. But in their defense, it's the only thing to do if you are in minority with your team. Now Stevie Nichols. Stevie Nichols slides over to Max Russo. That could be the first shot for the Waverleys. And um, that was the case. But now we will from... The Waverleys and um, Curry Morris were capable to capture the puck with his glove. Face off in front of his goal. No, Boston has won the draw and they uh, cleared down the ice again. Ten seconds left on the power play for the New York Waverleys. And the power play is now over, and you're now back with 5 on 5 on the ice. TV Nichols slides over to Zeke Beekerman. Zeke Beekerman over the left side. And got hip checked by Max, and uh, she brought his team back in possession. Bailey Pickett for fine puck handling, but uh, at the end she has lost it against Ernesto Larkin. And Maya Bennett fought successfully back for the puck. And Murphy blows the whistle for an icing call. Didn't. And we cause the face off at the other end of the field. Morris, 
Now, the Valise has won the draw and um, they have made a shot on the goal to Kirby Morris, but uh, if you ask me, it was an easy one to save for Kirby Morris and um, many guys out there will agree with me on that, but um, now the ref has blown the whistle for another face-off in front of his goal. As you saw, he has saved the puck with his glove. And now the Waverleys has won the draw this time. And they're still in possession. Juliet van Huysen. It's the puck. Slides over to Raleigh. Hugh Normus. Prevents, prevents against his defender. Riley with a right open shot. Safe made by Kirby Morris. But um, rebuilt from the Waverleys. And uh, Steven Eagles has attempted with a uh, backhand shot. But uh, it was an easy one to save for Kirby Morris. And now the, oof, the Boston Tiptons has the puck. And... Um, The shot got rejected by the post. Very good play from Boston Tiptons, but uh, at the end, yeah. As I said, the puck was uh, got rejected by the post. Too bad that the puck didn't went into the goal. A few moments ago, and um, besides, as the one Ramirez. has got a penalty violation against him because of roughing and that was uh, definitely the case if I remind you guys of the replay a few moments ago and yeah that leads to an Women advantage for the New York Waverleys again. And now they have 1 minute and 30 seconds left on their power play. And uh, the Tiptons cleared down the ice. Mason Grayback is in possession. Puck gets to Stevie Nichols. Stevie Nichols over the left side of the field. Revised open shots. And uh, Kermo keeps his team alive with another save. One minute and 33 seconds left in the first period, ladies and gentlemen. I was ready for the puck drop. And the Boston Tiptons has won the draw again. And the Waverleys has 39 seconds left for the power play. Riley over the right side. What does he do? Slides over to Ernesto Larkin in the middle and um, leg save by Kirby Morris. And that's finally the end of the first intermission. Uh, the score is equal, 0-0. Zero to zero. And um, we have two more intermissions to go and um, we will directly heading off to the second intermission after a few highlights from the first period. And here we are again. And um, the players are gathering around the circle right now, so the second frame is underway in a few moments. And that's the case right now. The Waverleys are still in power play for two seconds. And then the power play for them is now over. We're back with 5 on 5 on the ice. 
again. And now we've had Maya Bennett over the right side. She's over the blue line right now. Slides over to Max. She shoots and... Uh, but the Waverleys has managed to get between the shooting lane in order to intercept the puck and then now back and then now in possession Sieg Bikerman with a flick but um, he has shut the puck someplace else but now a rebuild by the Waverleys with the 2D and with a misplaced pass in the direction of Kurt Martin and now Maya Bennett with a flick and uh, yeah, she shoots the puck someplace, someplace else either she shot the puck someplace. Let's even now in Esselak with a breakaway. He's all alone right now, but uh, decided to pass the puck to his teammate in the back. But um, his past few moments ago got out of nowhere. Ah, and ooh, very great, very huge save from Kirby Boris. The Waverleys have got the leading goal on their stick. Literally on their stick. But due to the quick reaction from Kyle Morris a few moments ago, he has kept his team alive. And now a huge, huge opportunity for the Boston tip that's on the other side of the field. But um, due, to, due to the um, well positioning of the goaltender, Herschel Leritate. He's kept this team alive either. And now the puck is dropped and the uh, Waverleys has won the draw. And then now coming over the left side with few normus. And she and he just pulled it right. And now Bob. Comes over the right side of the field. Looks for a receiver, but lost the puck against one of the Waverly's player. And now Hugh Norm is over the left wing again. Now a rebuild by the Waverly's. They have fought successfully back for the puck. And the swing and the miss. For Hugh Normus. And now Marion Mosby with a cross to Bob, but um, the shot gets blocked from a defender of the Waverleys. Now Riley with wide open shots and saved by Kirby Morris. No, Park is dropped again and um, the Boston Tiffins has won the draw this time. Bailey Pickett slides over to Tailworm. Tailworm over the left, the left side wing. Slides over to... To Bailey Pickett. And she scores. And then backhand shot into, into the back of the net. Let's review the footage. Tail one over the left side wing. With a, with a fine cross to a, her teammate Bailey Pickett. And um, and after um, she got the puck from him. And I'm in tail one with it. She put the puck into the back of a net with a backhand shot. Very nice finish from her. And no chance for Herschel Larite this time. And now Bailey Pickett to Skippy. Skippy with a shot towards Herschel Larite, but easy save for him. And now Dexter Crisenberry over the right side wing. Looks from receiver behind the goal. And Dexter Crisenberry got his chance of a lifetime, and that's not the equalizer. The puck just passed the goal post. No need for Kermos to move in. And now Bailey Pickett on the other side of field to Tailworm. Tailworm with a shot and the shot gets rejected by the post. That's PT and um, the referee blows the whistle for offside.
Now Ernesto Larkin, the Rebel has won the draw, Felix. Placed the puck along the boards. And um, didn't find any any of his teammates. And now the Boston Tiptons in possession with Zach Martin. And and he just pulled it wide. Now Ernesto Larkin. Gets hip checked by Max and um, it wasn't Tiptons still in possession. Maya Bennett is still in possession, very, very prevailing against her defenders, but um, a swing and a miss for her. She just missed the goal by a few inches. But um, we built for the Boston Tiptons and uh, Buck got captured from the, from the glove of Herschel Levitate, face off in front of his goal. And now the puck is dropped and the Waverleys has won the draw. Stevie Nichols waits against his defender. And with goes the whistle for offside. That leads to a face off in front of a blue line. And the Waverleys has won the draw again. And that's finally the end of a second in the mission. The Boston Tiptons are in the lead with one goal, one goal to nil. And um, before we get into the deciding period, we will take a short look on the Statistics from both teams. The Waverleys are in front with their face of statistics 73% to 26%. And um, New York is also in the lead with their shots on the goal 16 to 7. And according to the statistics, it seems that the Waverleys are the better team until now. Because as you can see, they lead with their face-off statistics, they lead with their shots on the goal, they and they lead with their attacking time, 9.42 to 6.58. But the result at the end of the second frame, is that what really matters right now? And speaking of that, one beautiful play from the Boston Tippins in the middle of the second frame were sufficient enough to get in the lead over the New York Waverleys. Let's see if they can keep up the lead for the next 20 minutes. And yeah, uh, before I forget, we are... It's set up the, left side. the third period has begun a few moments ago and... Um, the ref blows the whistle for penalty violation. against Zach Martin because of inter interference. Let's review the footage. Uh, yeah, it was, it was definitely the case. Good decision by the ref, if you ask me, and uh, yeah. That leads to a one-man advantage for the New York Waverleys. Right after the beginning of the third period. And that could be the chance for the Waverleys to board the game back into even. But first of all, the Boston Tiptons has cleared on the ice. Like usual. And now the New York Waverleys come with Max Russo over the right side wing. He looks for a receiver, finds Stevie Nichols. What does she do? Max Russo! With a big time chance. Would again back into even, but. Uh, but not with Kirby Morris, he has watched out and. Um, 
He's made a good positioning and uh, because of that he has kept the lead for his team. And now the Weverlies with another attempt. To him by him through the entire field. Max Russo! Easy save for Kirby Morris. And now with Hudi, Weeble by the Waverly. 16 seconds left on their power play. Dean Moriarty. Riley, Dean Moriarty. Riley with a shot from the box. Why not? Another easy save for Kirby Morris. And now Zach Martin to Skippy. What does he do? He's not that fast, by the way. But he gets the puck through to his teammate Zach Martin at least. And oh, what a surprise. He's back in possession, but not anymore. And due to that, it seems that he's not that clumsy as we thought. Because um, as a sweet life of second Cody fan, you might know that Skippy is not that smart as a night shift manager. But um, anyways... We've had Max Russo in possession right now, slides it. Put Justin Russo, Justin Russo lost it against the Boston Timson, now Maya Bennett. With the cross to Zach Martin and uh, Mason Greyback has blocked the shot. And now they are all alone in front of Kirby Morris. But he watched out like usual and um, has saved the puck again. And um, now the Weverly's got the whistle for a face off in front of his goal. And the Weverly's has won the draw this time. Sie um, Sieg B come in to Dexter Crazenberry and uh, the Tiptons managed to get between the shooting lane and they're now back in possession. Murray and Mosby is over the blue line right now. To Esteban Ramirez, if I don't shot. Right towards Herschel Larry Tate, easy save for him. Face off in front of his goal. Bailey Pickett to Maddie Fitzpatrick. The Boston Timmons has won the face off. Maddie Fitzpatrick, what does she do? Slides over to Tailram, Skippy! That's right. He shot the puck towards the goal, but... Um, <laughs> and... The New York Waverleys were in luck that the puck didn't went into the goal a few moments ago. Because, as you certainly saw, the... The puck gets rejected by the post. And now Skippy to Tailworm. What does he do? Six minutes and f six minutes left in the third period. Could they keep the lead until the end of the period? We will review it after a few minutes. But now I believe that um, the Boston Tiptons got a Penalty violation against them. And because Skippy has did a hooking against Hugh Normus, and it was definitely the case. And really, right use of a stick if you ask me, and now Max Russo! With a huge opportunity, brought the game back into even. Due to the um, good positioning of the goaltender, Kirby Morris. He wasn't able to put the puck in, in the back of a net. But now they got the whistle for the face of one of his goal and, uh, and Tiptons has won it and they cleared down the ice. Mason Greyback with a puck right now. Holy shit, what a mistake from him! Big time chance for Maya Bennett! She fires it up and safe made by Herschel Heritage. The Waverleys are in luck that Maya Bennett has news their mishap.
No face off in front of his goal. Now Zach Kurt Martin to Barbara Brownstein. Mm, misplaced pass to the Waverly. Stevie Nichols plays the puck along the board. And that would be another penalty for the Boston Tiptons because of tripping. And they definitely saw it. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and um, but Martin has did the tripping, and yeah, after we review the footage, it was uh, definitely the case. It's uh, really obvious. And now had on, now the Waverleys had a two-man advantage. And it would be very difficult to keep the lead. For the last one minute and f 54 seconds. And yeah, uh, I definitely meant the Boston Tippins with it, but um, they kept their lead until the end of the third period. It would be a remarkable performance from the Boston Tippins. Now had only 30 seconds left. And now they could make an empty net to the Boston Tiptons. And now that's finally the end of the game. The Boston Tiptons has defeats the New York Waverleys with one goal, one goal to nil. And Bailey Pickett has scored the leading goal for her team. Congratulations for the Boston Tiptons and um, yeah, as a reliable viewer of my channel, you will definitely know that I will put the stats right here in the video. Here they are and if you are interested in it, you have to stop the video at this point. Take care and goodbye.